Running out of stamina in Valheim can be very annoying, but I was thinking just how fit and strong is your Valheim character? So in order to test this, I've jumped onto my cheat world, and of course the first thing that I had to do was raise all of my skills, because technically you can get all of your skills to level 100, so this is like a maxed out Valheim character, and we're going to test today a few things about how strong, how fast, how just awesome and athletic your Valheim character is. So let's start the series of tests. So first up, we're going to test how quickly we can sprint the 100 meters. So I've made this track right here, 100 meters, nice and flat ready to go the only thing that we need to do now is get ourselves some food in here so let's eat up and get our stamina up to full and once it is up to full we're going to start from here in fact i should probably add like a little bit around the back here right to make sure i'm not cheating i'm starting like just behind the line so let's put one of these just up there there we go and yeah, we're going to be good to go. So once my stamina's on full, we're going to time how long it takes and then compare that to the current world record. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. And this honestly feels like it might be slow i don't know uh well, well it's not like terribly slow but compared to the world record i don't think we're going to beat it because it's probably what nine seconds or something and stop there we go all right let's see how quickly that was done so although i somehow managed to hash up the three two one go in the recording <laughs> i did record the time uh, on my stopwatch and we didn't get the best time to be honest a little bit disappointing it was about 11.75 seconds which isn't bad you know it's it's, it's good but it, the world record is 9.58 seconds so for a 100 meter sprint we're, we're not the best however one thing we could do of course is maintain that speed right i mean the only thing we'd have to do is regenerate our stamina so what i'm going to do now is get my stamina all the way down to zero time how long it takes me to get the stamina like all the way back up to full and then work out our marathon time and i think our marathon time under the same sort of speed is going to be like a lot more impressive maybe we'll break the world record on this let's see how we go so i just kept running up and down this track until my stamina was completely out and i realized i could do about 500 uh, meters so up and down the track five times and that took one minute 32 seconds and one second so extrapolating that time out and then also adding in the time it takes for my stamina to fully recover we ended up with a time of three minutes four seconds and two milliseconds per kilometer because basically for the stamina regen it takes about 31 seconds at this level of stamina that i've got right here uh that's uh without obviously any meads uh you don't need to add in time for eating because as soon as your stamina gets down you can eat at that point if you need to and so yeah that time of three minutes four seconds two milliseconds per kilometer seems about accurate now if i just go over here real quick let's see so that worked out at two hours nine minutes and 25 seconds of a marathon time which is pretty fast but it is not a world record <laughs> the world record was recently broken or at least not too long ago a few years ago i think uh by someone who did it under two hours for the first time ever so our marathon time is pretty good i mean bear in mind that's because we have to keep eating in marathons they don't without eating we would absolutely kill it but hey not bad not bad as a long distance runner uh not the best at the short distance running though so next up i was wondering how much weight can our guy actually carry in game and the way i thought i'd do this is if we look at a loaf of bread it says in game it's a tasty loaf of bread specifically a loaf right and that has a weight of 0.5 units now when i looked online uh, a loaf of bread on average weighs one pound or 0.45 kilos so what that would equate to then if we looked at the uh, iron ingots for example then we got 12 times by the 0.45 so that is of course 10.8 kilos that this would weigh right uh, so then uh, if we times that by 25 which is us maxed out right 25 ingots here you can see we've got 300 out of 300 weight well uh, that equates to 270 kilos which is a lot i mean holding up 270 kilos would be a lot but one other thing we have to remember is not only can we carry it but we can still run at full pace it doesn't slow us down like at all and we can still jump and all this sort of stuff so we're pretty fit in terms of the strength that we have right long distance running we're very good at two hours nine minutes for the marathon sprinting we're good at but weight carry my goodness this guy this is a tank right here which i guess you'd kind of expect from a viking but then of course we can also go and talk to howder and buy ourselves the megan jord and uh, let's buy that right now and this of course increases how much we could actually carry right so right now if we equip this right we're gonna have now 302 of 450 so let's see now how many iron ingots we can pick up or iron bars i should say uh, and uh, and what that equates to well that actually makes quite a big difference <laughs> because right now we can take 37 iron ingots and of course the belt as well uh, so the 37 iron ingots equates to 399.6 kilos now we have to assume the bait uh, sorry excuse me the belt weighs something so basically you gotta, you gotta say we can carry about 400 kilos and we can still sprint with this and we can still jump with this 
that's a lot. We're, we're pretty strong. <laughs> We've got a very strong character. Now, as I said, we can still run the 100 meters at the exact same speed, right? So we can actually run the 100 meters or the marathon at the same speed, still whilst carrying all of this stuff. And that got me thinking about something. How many calories <laughs> would we burn in that time? So I'm going to go now do a little calculation. How many calories would we burn? Was doing the 100 meters, and then how many calories would we burn doing the marathon that we mentioned earlier? So I just worked it out, and once running that marathon, you would burn close to 20,000 calories in that time, which is that, that is a lot. I mean, that equates to about nine Domino's cheese pizzas, <laughs> which, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. I mean, everyone likes pizzas, so our guy's a bit of a beast. We got to be honest here, he, he can run with all that weight. He's, he's beefy. He's a, he's a fit guy. Hey guys, Kaizen here. Hope you're enjoying today's fun video. Just wanted to quickly say, if you want to see more Valheim fun and that sort of thing, check out my Twitch, link down in the video description. You'll even now be able to see a schedule uh, that is in your local time zone of when I'm doing things. So that's where I do a lot of live Valheim content, like the new Ravenheim server and the Valheim hardcore. There'll be some other things coming up as well, including some giveaways when I hit 50k, so that'll be fun. Um, we're going to get back to the video now, guys. Just thought I'd say check it out if you're interested. Next up, I was wondering, how high can our guy do a standing jump? And this this right here is about it obviously our skills and stuff are maxed out but we can just about get up there now this is of course a three meter high jump because if we look here you can see that the pole there of two meters and the one on top that's one meter that's three meters and it is level with the ground that we're stood on here so this is about right three meters from a standing jump that's pretty insane so I just looked on the Guinness Book of World Records website and the highest ever standing jump was at 1.7 meters. That's for a male. His name was Christopher Spell, who did it in February 2021. So this is a recent record. We we could get like almost double that. So this, yeah, we, we've got the jumping down, right? Jumping is our, it's, it's our expertise. Actually, you know what? I think the next thing we need to do then, let's try a long jump as well, right? So let's, let's do, uh, let's place this on the floor here. And we know these are two meters long. We'll take a run up. We get a little run up, right? That's that's all part of it. Let's get a full speed here. And let's see how long we can jump. So ready? Get sprinting. We got jumped just before. That's that's quite a way. All right, let me let me mark this. Right, we've got to we gotta mark this properly. So place that just down at my feet here. There we go. So we go from there. So this is like two, four, six, eight, and then not quite ten, probably about nine and a half meters. Okay, again, I'm gonna see the world record for this. So I just had a look online and the world record for the long jump is 8.95 meters. So we, we actually hold the world record for the long jump here in Valheim. And I mean, that was just first go. I mean, maybe, you know, with a bit of practice, I can get closer to that line when I'm jumping and maybe even beat that. I mean, if that wasn't in the way, we might have even beat that. So we, we're world record holders. Okay, that that's the basic long and short of this. So again, jumping, definitely our expertise. And we shouldn't forget as well, I'm currently jumping whilst carrying all of the weight of support. Was it for 400 kilos, did we say? So, <laughs> you know, you stick 400 kilos on a guy in real life, he's not getting anywhere near to that nine meter mark. So I, I think we're definitely, we're definitely like killing this. So next up, I think we got to give swimming a bit of a try. And this right here is a 50 meter like track, right? We got the log beams here, kind of like measuring all this out, right? So this is 10 meters per each one of the coolwood poles you see there. So this is, this is 50 meters and, uh, I don't know. It's be interesting to see how we do this one. I, I feel like swimming is going to be slow, but I've never really tested it. So let's find out. So I guess what we need to do is go in here and I'll time this on the video. So from when we get in here, is it is he still up at this point? We need you to be swimming. Where does he swim from? About there. All right. This is be about 45 meters. Okay. It's all rough. We'll time it from when he starts swimming, extrapolate it out and we'll see what the world record is. Now you'll notice he's doing breaststrokes. I think what I got to do is compare this to the breaststroke world record. And yeah, this does feel really slow, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's see how he does, how long it takes him, and compare that to the best in the world. So I was actually very surprised about this because we did that in total in 22.35 seconds for 45 meters, which means about 0.496 meters a second. So times that by five gives you 2.48 seconds extra it would have taken. So basically the 50 meters was in 24.8 seconds. That's fast. In fact, so fast because the world record for the 50 meters breaststroke is 25.95 seconds. So we are actually another world record holder for the breaststroke, which is really, really good. Now, that being said, though, uh, in terms of marathon like swimming, you know, long distance swimming, we're not going to do so good because obviously stamina is going to run out and we have to stop and eat, whereas like in real life they don't. And there's nowhere to stop and eat when you're in the middle of the ocean. Like, <laughs> you know, if they swim across oceans in real life and stuff like that, they, they would definitely beat us with that. But we're, we're, we're a good like short distance swimmer, that's for sure. So pleasant surprise, we're actually a fast swimmer. The next thing I was sort of wondering is how long can we hold our breath for? Now, I'm not sure we're actually going to be able to test this because we can't really get underwater, can we? He kind of, 
yeah, he's sort of not really going to do that. But right there, his head does look underwater. So he, right now he's swimming like this. So maybe we could test this and see how long he keeps his head under that water for. It doesn't seem to come up at all while he's swimming. So, all right, okay, I guess we can test this. Not only is he going to be underwater, uh, he, like, holding his breath, he's going to be swimming at the same time. So we can, we can test that compared to real life, see what the record is. Let's do it. Okay, we're at full stamina right now, so I'm going to go for a swim time it on the video and just see like how long it would take me until I have to start taking a breath again and yeah we'll see how we go so as long as he keeps his head underwater which he does the whole time we can time this he's not breathing this whole time see how long he can hold his breath for and uh, compare that to whatever the current world record is in real life so I'm swimming along and I've accidentally come here where he stood up <laughs> of course caught his breath which means I'm gonna have to restart the whole test because I'm, I'm just a bit of a muppet basically so yeah let's get his stamina back to full I guess just chill here until it's a full. We'll try that again. The holding the breath was a little bit more disappointing because we only got just over a minute and 17 seconds. Now, I think I myself could probably hold my breath for longer than that. You know, you play those games as a kid. You go in the swimming pool. You, you know, how long can you hold your breath for? I reckon I could beat a minute 17. Feels like I could. Um, but I have to say that pales in comparison. Let me get this record up over here. So according to the Guinness World Records, right, the longest someone held their breath for was 24 minutes and three seconds. 24 minutes that is insane how did someone hold their breath for that long i am so confused how they did that are they still alive did they did they die and the, and the stopwatch just they stopped after that time that is insane so we're definitely far off the world record for breath holding but that to me i i am baffled i've learned something today that's for sure so next up i thought we'd have a go at javelin throwing now this one i think we should be good at technically right because we're a viking so you think they would have that down right so what i'm going to do is try out the different ones here so we've got three uh, sorry four different ones a fang spear we've got a flint spear uh, an ancient bark spear and a bronze spear. So we're going to throw all four, see what like we get as our best distance in this. Again, I'm using this 100 meter track to kind of like test this. I've got to say, this track's really come in handy today. It's tested all kinds of things. <laughs> so let's see how we do. So I guess what we'll do, we'll just equip it and then throw it. And obviously I'm going to try and get as big a distance as we can. We'll keep our feet behind the line. There we go. And yeah, just, just throw it, all right? And wait, where did that go? Oh, we missed the track. Um, okay, that's a problem. We got to try and throw it along the track to actually get a measurement. Where did that go? Okay, we had the sun in our eyes. That's the excuse I'm using. So I've come down here. I'm going to throw this way now. I guess about a 45 degree angle is best, right? And then just just launch it. And then we can fly down and kind of check. And I think that hit the pole. <laughs> this, this is actually proven to be quite difficult just to throw it straight. So uh, th this in itself is a challenge, right? Let's try one more. We'll go like a little bit more this way, I guess, up there. Let's see. He likes to throw it over to the left a bit. I think, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll figure this out. <laughs> Okay, so you can see there's a few spears down on the floor here, but this one, this one went the furthest. This is the Fang Spear, and if you hopefully saw just there before I picked it up, but that basically went pretty much dead in line with here, right? Which is, I think, 60 meters, right? So it was from here. So yeah, there we go. 20, 40, 60 meters just about bang on. So let me have a look at what the world record is now for the javelin throw and see how that compares. Okay, once again, I am crazily surprised because the men's world record for the javelin throw is 98.48 meters. And that apparently was set in 1996. So it hasn't been beaten since, which I'm not overly surprised at. I think that would take one hell of a lot of beating. But that is, that's a lot. I mean, that's what, like another 40 meters on what we did in games. So kudos. I mean, yeah, fair play. That's that's a big throw. We're not a world record holder at the Javelin either. So we talked a little bit about calorie burn with the running, but I was wondering something else. So what I'm going to do is spawn in some bread right now, right? Just one loaf of bread and we're going to eat it. Now, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to run around until I need to eat again and see how much like that would have sustained us for. Now, bear in mind, we could also still be running around at the same speed for the same time with the 400 kilos. So I'm going to factor all of that in and see how many calories are in a Valheim loaf of bread. Now, in a real life, in real life, I've been looking online, it looks like it's around 2000. It can like vary a lot, but 2000 calories in a whole loaf of bread. So we're going to eat this loaf of bread right now. And we're going to run and we're going to see how long this manages to sustain us for. Obviously, it'll keep like replenishing our stamina when we just kind of chill and wait for it. And then we'll kind of get a rough idea. I mean, a lot of this is rough. It's all just meant to be a bit of fun just to like test out some different ideas in Valheim. But yeah, let's see. Let's see what this comes out at. So I realized after I've been running around like an idiot that I was being, well, an idiot. <laughs> because, of course, we just look at the bread. 1,800 seconds. That's how long it'll last before we need more bread. So, yeah, I mean, we know that we can run around for 1,800 seconds with 400 kilos of weight on us. So I just need to do the maths. I uh, 
I was being silly. So I'm really glad I figured that out because otherwise I'd have been running around for 30 minutes. And yeah, I, I believe it or not, do have better things to do than that. Uh, but I just worked it out. In the time that we'd be running around there, roughly speaking, right, we would burn 4,600 calories, which means a Valheim loaf of bread is 4,600 calories. So you gotta be careful with that stuff, guys, because that is, that's that's a lot. <laughs> it's a stage you for quite a while. And I mean, some of the things in game, you know, might even be higher than that, who knows? But uh, yeah, th so 4,600 calories in a Valheim loaf of bread, that's, that's insane. So just as a final thought, something occurred to me while I was making this video, and that is this. We're currently holding a Viking longship, right? I mean, Literally, that's that's kind of what we're doing. Because when we place it, it sort of drops down into the water. So it is like we're holding an entire longship above the water and then sort of plonking it in. Now, if that's the case, if, if, we, if we're going to accept that that is, you know, what we're doing, they used to weigh a lot, right? I, I had a look online. It looks like they used to weigh 20 tons. If we convert that to kilograms, that's over 18,000 kilograms, which basically means that you can times everything I said today by about 45, which... Yeah, I mean, that's just madness. Now, the reason I didn't include this and do all the calculations with this is because I guess it's just sort of implied that you aren't, like, holding the entire ship at the same time. You sort of build it and drop it. But if you want to go really bad and have a bit of fun with that, then yeah, that <laughs> 20 tons is, is about the weight limit as to what you can actually carry in Valheim. So even without the longship madness, the amount you can carry is still pretty impressive. I mean, 400 kilos is definitely a lot, regardless of whether or not we include the 20 ton bit of fun at the end. Today's video was just a bit of fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's something a little bit different. If you want to see more fun types of things and hang out with me, do come on to my Twitch, link in the description, where we'll do all kinds of crazy things, both on the Ravenheim server and the Hardcore and all that sort of stuff. But for now, I just want to say thank Thank you so much for watching and of course i'll see you next time and here come the dad jokes you guys know what a marathon runner's favorite food is a runner bean you know why olympic athletes never get too hot because they have so many fans in a recent study they found that paid athletes bulk faster than prisoners using gym facilities turns out the pros outweigh the cons only athletes will understand this one it's a running joke i was actually at a baseball game the other day and i was wondering why the baseball keeps getting bigger and then it hit me i competed in an olympic event once it was the sun tally event and uh, actually got bronze